After recent announcements from Washington, there's no relief in sight for lockdown restrictions. With schools, retail shops, and many other businesses closed and unemployment reaching record highs, the effect on the economy and basic human morale is incalculable. Many are trying everything they can to keep a sense of calm and routine despite the massive disruption to life and society. This time has been especially tough on parents having to juggle working remotely, loss of income, having to homeschool children, and troubleshoot technology. Okay, puppy. We'll get it next time. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. What are you typing? Nothing. Seriously, what are you typing? Let me see. Re messaging. What is it? Morse code. What's it say? It's a secret. The girls, you are on thin ice with me. Can you please just stop? Well, we didn't you are doing something. Go outside. Go upstairs. Go explore. I don't care. Just do something away from your screens. Jeez, stop. What does it say? It says, Anna still plays with baby toys. Give it back. Come and get it. Oh my gosh. Girls. Girls. Do you want to have some fun? Are we allowed? Mom said to explore the house. Yeah, let's go. Okay, puppy. I'll be back for you later. Anna, can we open this? I don't think we should. Just help me get the door open. or something? What's a VCR? This is. Oh, I, I think it's great grandpa's. Happy's old stuff. I remember he had this in his den. Take a picture of me. I honestly don't know how. Something cool? Oh, what is it? Um, I think it's Papio's old radio. Let me try. No, go away. I found it. So what? Find something else. Mimi, you're so rude. Sorry. Amelia Earhart. 
Was Amelia Ear Earhart? She's like the first woman to fly around the world in like the 1930s. Someone's in trouble. Well, yeah, she almost made it around the world, but then she disappeared. Disappeared? Do I have to explain everything to you? Hold on. Here. Earhart was the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean during an attempt to make a circular navigational flight of the globe in 1937 in a Lockheed Model 10E Electra. Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan disappeared over the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island. Their plane crashed into the ocean, sinking into the bottom of the Pacific. If she died in 1937, how are we hearing her in this radio? It's impossible. Maybe Dad's new antenna's picking up a signal. Really? A TV antenna? Give me a break. <sighs> More like sunspots. Or wormholes. No, it's probably just a recording. Maybe we could ask. How? Besides, this radio show didn't even get it right. It said they crash landed on an island, but they crash landed in the ocean. Maybe we could help. Us? Really? Breaker, breaker, Amelia, this is Mimi. We can save you from a plane crash that happened 80 years ago. Roger, roger, over and out. Besides, we don't even have a... Microphone. This will help us. <sighs> it's not her. I want to talk to her, whoever she is. Fine. Hello? Uh, hello? It would help if you turned it on. Hello, Amelia? Anyone there? I told you it was just a recording. Board. Hmm. Maybe. What is this? Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello, who's there? Do that again. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Howland? I'm Anna. I'm nine years old. Uh, hello, Anna. My plane crashed on an island. We have no fuel and our radio battery is nearly dead. We have no water. Please, please, can you help us? We gotta do something. Even if it was her, which is scientifically impossible, what could we possibly do? I don't know, but, but I think we gotta try. We could save her life and friends too. Please, Mimi. It's stupid, but what else are we gonna do? Thank you, Mimi. Um, now what? You try and get her back on the radio. When she comes back, we'll explain to her what's going on. I'm gonna try and find why she says they're on an island. Thank you. Hello, Amelia, you there? Amelia, you there, Amelia? Anything? Mm, nothing, you? Not sure. What is it? This one part says she crashed into the ocean, but how could she be sending radio signals? Then I saw this part under other theories. What's it say? Okay, so it says they were running out of fuel. Some believe Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan, having not found Helen Island, would not waste time searching. She said Helen on the radio. Instead, they would turn to the south and look for other islands. If they missed Baker Island, then sometime later they would fly over Nicaruma Railroad or Gardner Island, about 350 nautical miles south southeast of Howland Island. So everybody is looking for her, but they never find her because they aren't looking in the wrong place. Wait. So if she didn't crash in the ocean, she was on an island calling for help? And no one came. 
You gotta do something. <sighs> it says here her last transmission was Wednesday, July 7th at 6.15 p.m. Today is Wednesday. And it's 5.15 p.m. now. If this is a wormhole or whatever, her day, a Wednesday like ours, might run parallel to ours, in which case, in one hour, it'll close and we won't be able to transmit much longer. Look. There, 60 minutes. I'll search for more answers and you see if you can get Amelia back on the radio. I'll try. Helen, this is Earhart. Do you read? Helen, Helen, do you read? It's her. We'll answer it. Amelia, are you there? Amelia? Helen, hello? It's Anna again. Oh, Anna, hello. Did you call for help? This is going to sound strange, but you died 80 years ago. Amelia, still there? I'm sorry, Anna, but this is a real emergency, and I need to keep this frequency clear to call for help. I was just trying to help. Maybe we can. Look, I think I found a way to help Amelia. Amelia, this is Miriam, Anna's sister. Miriam, thank you for your help, but I really must keep this line clear. We can help you. I appreciate it, but I can manage. But... Keep this line clear, please. Tell her. Amelia, if you don't listen to us, you're going to die. But what are you talking about? They don't find you. But I, I, I radioed. They'll have my position. They'll come. I know it. No one finds you. At least, not alive. But how do you know? They're looking in the wrong place. I don't understand. How could you know that? How can we prove it? She'll never believe us. I know. Did you notice a shipwreck on the south? west of the island? No, no wreckage. I don't get it. They would have had to seen it. Maybe it's not the right island. It is, I know it is. Wait, what was that Fred? You what? Miriam, yes, Fred saw the shipwreck. You found her. Found, found it. it. What does that mean? <laughs> it means you landed on Gardner Island. Gardner? That's impossible. That, that's over 300 miles off course. How can you be sure? Well, a few years after you disappear, researchers find, well, a woman's black leather shoe and a sextant box with the serial numbers 3,500 and 1,542. I am wearing black leather shoes, and Fred's box has those numbers. They found one other thing. What? What did they find? <sighs> a skeleton, female, under a tree on the southeast corner of the island. I, I, I don't know how. There is no way you could know such specific details. So what do we do? Fred's maps are destroyed. If we had coordinates, we could tell the Navy exactly where to look. So we need a map. If you find a map, you can find the coordinates. Hurry, we don't have much radio battery left. Okay, we'll look. Okay, we need to find a map. Maybe Pappy had some maps. I'll look over there. Okay. 25 minutes left. Hurry! Wait! We got something better! What? We just learned Google Earth um, a couple weeks ago in school. Perfect. That's it! Nick Maroon Row Row or Gardner Island! Now what? Okay, we found it. Now you need to locate the coordinates somewhere on the map. Well, it's not quite a map. It's Google Earth. Google what? Never mind. Okay, now you need to find numbers with a north, south, east, or west, and a degree symbol. Do you see that anywhere? Okay, 4.68 degree symbol, S. Okay, 174.52 degree symbol, W. I don't get it. <laughs> Girls! You may have just saved our lives! Really? Keep this line clear and hope it works, and thank you. We did it! Piece of cake! Ow! Ow! How do we know if it worked? I don't know. Maybe it's linking back to the future. 
the article will change. Looks looks the same to me. Maybe we have to wait till 6.15. Wait, it won't work. Even if she radios the right coordinates, the Navy won't hear it. Amir, you wait. What is it? It won't work. I was reading about you and it said that the one reason that you were never saved was because your radio frequency was different than the one that the Navy was monitoring near Gardner Island. They wanted me to put that, that darn new antenna on my plane. Just, it, it took up too much space. What can we do? Well, if you can communicate with me, maybe you can communicate with the Navy. Ideally, we would send Morse code. They'd hear that for sure, but, but I don't know that and neither does Fred. We don't know it either. Mimi, your message app. Of course. Amelia, hang on. We just need to download an app and then we can send your message through. Please hurry. Fred is not doing so good. 15 minutes. Okay, I'll do the Morse code and... Wait, it was my idea. I'm doing it. No what? way, it's my app. Oh, and get off. off. <gasps> Look what you did. Look what you did. I can buy you yourself. Well, I'm sick and tired of doing everything for you. You didn't even believe this. It's all just a joke to you. You're right. I'm done playing your stupid game. Well, I hope you're happy. Because you killed Amelia Earhart. It's all your fault. I didn't kill July 11, 1937. Dear Meredith, despite the official reports, we had contact with Amelia and Fred until just after 6 p.m. on July 8th. I haven't left my radio post for days. I'm tired, but I won't give up on them. I feel like finding them is my destiny. I miss you dearly, my love. Yours forever, Lieutenant Francis Bell. We can't give up, no matter what. It's our destiny now. What? I'm sorry. Whatever. You were right. I didn't believe you. But I was just playing with you because I love playing with you. And I didn't want to be alone. I believe you now. It's from Pappy to Great Grandma. Great Grandma. Pappy used that very same radio to try and save Amelia. That's antenna or well, I don't know. But I think it's up to us to finish what Pappy started. Do you really think so? I really do. I don't want us to lose her, and I don't want to lose you either. You're my best friend. You're my best friend too. Let's do this. Let's do this. Wait! What? What about the laptop? How are we going to send the message? I have an idea. <laughs> Just keep trying, I almost have this. Amelia, Amelia. She's not there. Hello? Anna, hello. We found a way to send the message. Fred, Fred, did you hear that? They're going to do it. Yes, download it. Okay, then here's what you need to do. Ready. Okay. 
Ready. Now, turn that radio to 1310 and send that message. If they hear it, they will come and get us and and we'll be saved. Okay, we're ready. Here. No, you do it. Then I need you to work the microphone. Together? Together. Okay, Emilio. We're gonna turn to the other station. We may not hear from you again. Whatever happens, you have both given us hope. Thank you. And don't ever let go of each other, no matter what. What do you want? Goodbye, Anna. Goodbye, Miriam. And thank you. Goodbye, Amelia. So when I hit play, it should play the beeps and send the message. And the Navy will be able to hear it. Okay, three seconds. Wait, what if they don't answer? Let's just hope they do. Okay, here we go. I guess we wait. They got the message. Wait, Lieutenant Bell. Happy? You think we just helped our great grandfather save Amelia Earhart? <laughs> Check and see if Amelia's still there. It's not working. an executive order lifting all restrictions and encouraging governors to do the same. This after an unexpected breakthrough treatment just approved for immediate use. This new treatment has a profound effect on the virus, effectively okay. lowering no, no, no. the mortality yes, rate yes, to one yes. in 10 million. Yes. Ah! And it's all thanks to the research and work of famed scientist Evelyn Earhart. Congratulations, puppy. Evelyn is the great granddaughter of the famous aviator Amelia Earhart who after going missing for a week in 1937, completed the last leg of her trek to become the first woman to fly around the world. Amelia went on to help start NASA and become the first woman to land on the moon. Anna, look, it changed. Dear Meredith, we found them. We found Amelia. A 
few days ago, we received a miraculous message with exact coordinates. She is saved. I know your love and prayers push me to never give up. I think of you always. Your eternal love, Lieutenant Francis Bell. We did it! That's so crazy! Yeah. Too bad no one will ever know. We know, and it will stay in our hearts forever. You're right. Now what do we do? I saw an old satellite dish in the basement. Let's go! I'll bring Puppy along.